Namaste. I am Gloria Grace Rand and welcome, welcome to Live, Love, Engage. I am delighted to have an awesome, awesome lady as my guest today. She is someone I had the pleasure of meeting in person, gosh, a couple years now. I can't believe time, time keeps flying so fast. Um, we met at a, uh, at a, we had booths together uh, at a uh, conference, a Rockstar Marketing boot camp, I believe it was called. Um, and so I got to know her a little bit and she is an amazing woman. Her name is Jill Lublin and she's an international speaker on topics of radical influence, publicity, networking, kindness, and referrals. Um, she's got the author of four best-selling books, including Get Noticed, Get Referrals, and co-author of Guerrilla Publicity and Networking Magic. And her latest book, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit, in a second here, is called Profit of Kindness, and it went number one in four categories, so congrats to that, Jill, that's awesome. Um, she's a master strategist on how to position your business for profitability and visibility in the marketplace and a whole bunch of other stuff, you know, teaching people how to use publicity and helping authors to create book deals, um, obtaining foreign rights, all sorts of cool things. So welcome, welcome to Live, Love, Engage, Jill. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be here and great to see you again. Yes, it is. It is. So I wanted to get started right off the bat with Profit of Kindness. When I saw the title of that book, I was like, ooh, that's really cool. And for those of you who are listening and not um, and not actually watching the YouTube, because you can see the book behind her on YouTube, but if you're listening, it's actually P-R-O-F-I-T. So it's actually, you know, profiting money-wise as opposed to a profit um, speaking. But I suspect, I have a feeling there might be a double meaning behind that. So tell me a little bit about the book. Where'd you come up with that? What's it all about? And, and yeah, so what does the name mean? Thank you. So, you know, it's interesting. I, I'm hanging out with my 85-year-old uh, friend, and I've known her over 20 years, helping her as she's aging and supporting many things uh, in that process for her. And one day she looks at me as I was driving her to a doctor's appointment and said, you know, I wish everybody were more kind. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we had had the currency of kindness? And I thought, oh, wow, what a great mm -hmm. idea. Like, how do we create uh, well, my publishers wanted to call it the profit of kindness. So, right. but here's what's interesting. What I discovered is those companies that are more kind, the CEOs are happier, their clients are happier. Uh, they tend to attract more customers and that went for small and large businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really where it got inspired from. And my intention with this is to help others be more kind, you know, and it's especially challenging as we're in challenging times, you know, our patience is thinner and um, even more important to practice kindness or, you know, uh, what I love to share, Gloria, is when I was in, uh, when I was working on the, on the chapter on patients, mm -hmm. I had to call my utility company and, you know, I'm sure we all know you're put <laughs> on hold forever. You're, you know, they're making you go round and round in the circles to press this and tap this. And I'm like, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then they get on. And my favorite line is thank you for your patience. Yes. And, and I'm like, who said I was patient? <laughs> <laughs> you're assuming. And my mother always told me never assume. <laughs> But that's the point, you know, it's like, that's the practice, right? Like uh, to be in that practice. So I have um, outlined some, some, let me call it words of, um, you know, people talk about ROI, return on investment. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, being a publicity expert, I know how powerful that is. Right. And kindness um, is a return on on investment. And so I, I created what I call rocks, return on kindness principles. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's been a lot of fun and, and just helping people get out there and be more kind. And, you know, one day I was looking at all my books and those of you who can see them, I'm like, okay, so I'm looking at my books and I go, how does kindness tie into publicity? Right. Well, <laughs> guess what? Companies that are more kind get more publicity. It's just really the truth. Mm. So that's how it all started. Well, that's awesome. I, I, I really love that. And I think it is something that... It, 
it seems basic or, or, or like common sense to be kind. And yet, you know, so often you, you hear in the business world, you know, it's a cutthroat world and, and stuff like that. But as you, you t- share that really, if you can, what is, what is the other expression? Killing them with kindness is probably better because you can really get more, you know, get more honey or, or what, it, uh, what is it? You, you get more of use honey. Oh, I've, I've totally messed up the expression, but hopefully y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something about honey and we get those bees. I can yeah, catch yeah, fly, <laughs> flies, get, get, uh, yeah, yeah, flies with honey. I don't know, whatever. But anyway, so, um, so I, lo- I like that. I love that you're doing that. Now, we kind of mentioned that as we're recording this, it's in, in the middle, almost the middle of April already. I don't know how it got to be that. Um, <laughs> and we're in the middle of this lovely um, opportunity is what I'm calling it anymore because it's uh, the pandemic, but I don't want to, I don't want to call it um, a crisis. I would rather use the word opportunity because it can be an opportunity and for people who are maybe taking advantage of this time to sort of take stock and, and figure out what is important in their life. And so how does public relations, publicity, how does that all factor in with what we're going through right now? Well, here's what I want to say. Um, my clients are doing great. Why? We're pivoting their message. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't have a particular message for this time, then great. You know, the power of publicity is that you plan three, six, and nine months ahead. Mm-hmm. And so if you use this time well, smartly, wisely, uh, the great news is, in my opinion, people who are planning now are going to come out ahead and will be featured, you know, in magazines, newspapers, radio, TV, blogs, podcasts, because you're planning, you're planting seeds, you're doing what you need to do right now, which is beautiful. And those of you with great messages, you know, for instance, I have a a stress coach as a client. And I'm like, hello, honey, this is your moment, right? (laughs) Like, let's talk about how to deal with stress in stressful times and what to do. I have a, a parenting coach uh, that I work with right now. And, mm-hmm. and I'm like, let's complete. We had a whole wonderful message plan and we've been going and doing well with it. And, and I connected to her and I said, let's completely change your message. How do you deal with your kids at home? Right. You know, my relationship uh, expert, we're talking about how do you deal with your spouse at home how do you deal with being at home so much so with the people you love hopefully or at least like and uh, you know how how do you stay in relationship with them and that's my relationship expert we're doing that story so I'm going to ask all of you as you're listening this think about your story Um, how can you recreate a message that matters for right now in the times right now Mm, that's awesome what do you believe is maybe the best way for um, not only now, but even, you know, once we get past what's going on for say a small business owner to be able to get their message out? Cause I know, obviously I think, you know, you, you seem to do a lot of writing. So is, is, is a book like a good idea for, for a business owner to have? You know, a book is a great idea for a business owner to have. And in fact, I mean, frankly, I've been helping people get book deals uh, for a long time with major agents and publishers, and uh, here's, or, or at least get their books self-published. So one of my pivots was I, I started a new program called Get That Darn Book Done, you know, mm-hmm. um, because I think that uh, a lot of people stall. Well, now is a great time to, whether it's speak it out, put those thoughts on paper, you know, scribble it out. I don't care. Let's just move <laughs> the content. And one way to move the content that's really easy is start blogging or do, you know, little snippets. Mm-hmm. Think 500 word articles, right? 500 words. That's really not a lot. Yeah. And what's wonderful is if you just start putting those down. Um, and it could be stream of consciousness. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yep. Uh, people can edit it later. You can have things transcribed. Let's just get the content out of your head and through whatever medium you like, whether it's speaking it, writing it, you know, whatever works. And uh, that becomes, that 
becomes a book oftentimes that certainly can start out as an article. Articles are a great way to get your word out there and simple, easy ways. You can post it on blogs. You can be guest bloggers on other people's blogs. And that, my friends, is what creates and continues your powerful message. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll, and I'll just share one thing that I've done as well is in the past, I've done Facebook lives. And so what I was able to do is I was able to download the video and then get those videos transcribed. And I'm actually incorporating a lot of that material in the book that I'm writing, which tomorrow, I figure is going to be a good day. I'm going to spend on my book as well, because I've been another one kind of procrastinating and getting it done. And it's like, okay, this is the perfect time I need, I need to Beautiful. get it done. Beautiful. <laughs> so, Lori, I'm going to put you on the spot. What's the name of your book? It is called Live, Love, Engage. And, Beautiful. Yep. And I, I actually printed out, I printed out a copy of what I want the, want the book cover to look like, and I have it um, where I can see it. So it is a, another reminder to me to get it done, get it done. Beautiful. I don't have any way of putting it back here. I have to figure out how to get some shelves or something. But uh, <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have it right behind me. But it's Yeah, and here's what I want to say. So congratulations. Um, but one of the things I want to encourage you is to start saying, in my book, live, love, and engage, right? Because you, you keep the name recognition top of mind for people. And That's this right. is for everyone, you know, even if you don't know what your book is called, just say, I'm writing an up coming book on publicity or whatever your subject matter is, even if you don't have the title right. And, you know, you can grab a quick uh, cover design. You can do all kinds of fun and interesting and simple things. The point is just do something, whether you write one article, one blog post, whether you record something and post it somewhere, do a nice fast video, put it on Facebook Live. My friends, now is your moment. Get your message out. Keep your name in front of people. It's powerful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, how can, or, or what's like the best way for people to maybe even work with you? Do you have, cause I know you mentioned something about you've got uh, this get or done thing. Is that something that people can still take advantage of or what? Absolutely. And it's a great time to do that. Yes, I'm helping people get their books done. I'm helping self-published authors get foreign rights deals. And I'm helping people with their publicity. And what I did was I put it all into one program, which is great. Oh, nice. um, so absolutely. And the other thing I'm doing, which has become very accessible, is I teach publicity crash courses. And this is a no-nonsense, get her done, <laughs> like uh, actually do it in the virtual day. We meet virtually. Okay. And they leave with uh, documents actually done that the media will, you know, enjoy and understand and speak their language. So um, it's a very powerful day. And I made it really affordable for everyone that now is the moment because I think it's really important to stay visible in troubled times. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, if you look back at history, I, I know that like during the Great Depression in the 1920s, that was when a lot of big companies that are still around today actually got started because they took advantage of the opportunities and, and or, or at least they just decided that, you know what, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. And, and we know that we've got a product or a service that people can use and, and we're just going to get through it. So yeah, that's I think, right. Amen. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, what would be the best way for people to get a hold of you to learn more about, you know, the, the programs that you've got and, and all of that? What's the best way for them to contact you? Well, thank you. Well, first of all, on the check out publicitycrashcourse.com okay. and uh, use my outrageous code, stay visible, all lowercase, please, uh, case sensitive. So um, check that out. And that'll give you my outrageous deal, frankly, to, to start coming into the course and get your publicity focused. And then if you want to talk to me about anything else and how I might serve you with regard to publicity, getting your name out there and increased visibility, please uh, just do me a favor, email us support at jilllublin.com. Lots of L's in there. And maybe you can post it in the notes. It's support yeah. at Jill and then L-U-B-L-I-N.com. Uh, would love to talk to you about anything you need. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to be able to talk with us and share a, a bit of your wisdom. And you know what, one, one quick last thing before we go, because um, one of the things that I 
talk about and that are that is important for me as part of this mission is for people to be authentic to engage authentically have what what's your feeling on that and 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 or advice for for you know folks especially dealing with even you know publicity or or what have you or writing a book so um obviously you know in this time if you aren't authentic forget about it i mean you there's no masks uh in fact i kind of love this because people's kids are running back and forth and you know i got i got my cat on my lap whose whose face appears you know oftentimes in my meetings and i'm just like here's my cat you know yep. and just be who you are you know be who you are but be kind especially now and you know tone it down a little bit in terms of you know we all get a little more impatient and just, uh, I think, you know, just being straight and being focused um, is important and certainly being your authentic self. And if you're wacky, be wacky. It's great. You know, if, if you're loud, be loud and be proud and, and be funny and be silly. And most of all, be visible, stay visible. That's the important part. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. I so appreciate you being here today. And uh, for those of you watching and listening, um, make sure that you are subscribed uh, on the podcast platform of your choice so that you make sure you don't miss any other future episodes. And also my YouTube channel is Gloria Rand Video. So make sure that you're subscribed there as well. And if you could leave us a comment or review, that would be great as well. We appreciate that. And until next time, I am Gloria Grace Rand, wishing you all to be able to spend your time to live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically. <laughs>